How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today, I have some more Japanese puzzle erasers from Daiso Japan. And these are also manufactured by Iwako. And these are an assortment of different uh, Asian foods. This is a Chinese food, and this is a Japanese festival food. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unpackage these. I actually had a subscriber let me know, which is kind of funny, that you can actually open these via the pull tab at the bottom. And then they just slide right out. All those times I was using dangerous sharp objects when I just needed to peel it off. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. Oh, so this looks really good. Um, I'm not going to know the name of a lot of these, but I believe this is um, octopus balls, and that's uh, that's what they're filled with. I believe so. I had these at a ramen place down in San Diego, and they had this thing where basically there was one that was full of a big ball of wasabi, and you weren't sure which one you know, what person at your table was going to get it, and I got it, and I really like wasabi, so I was like, wow, there's a lot of wasabi in this, and no one told me that that's the ball, so yeah, I kind of just liked it. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what comes apart on here. So the cool thing about these ones is all of the different portions of the erasers actually come apart. So as you see, we pulled this part apart, and then this tiny little shell right here also comes off. And then the actual balls come off as well. And then this is the little kind of paper looking plate. And then we also can put this back in. And then this will lay back on top. And what's really cool is this all just kind of like lays down into here. And then these little tiny pegs actually will hold the entire thing together. I really love the engineering job of these things. I always say that. Very nice. And if we look at this one right here, this kind of looks like a uh, thing of ramen noodles or maybe uh, maybe like a curry noodle. It looks really good. I believe right up here is um, a little bit of kimchi. And I'm not sure what part of this comes off. So it looks as though this one does. It did not look like it would come off at all, honestly. And then that slides back in. And I'm assuming it separates in one large piece. No! Guys, look at this. The actual little tiny vegetable looking things at the bottom were separate pieces. I was almost 100% sure, based on how tight knit this looked, that this was all a single piece but that all separates right there. How cool is that? That's a, one reason I really love these things is that sometimes you just don't expect. Also, it really makes me hungry. Let's go ahead and set that down. And now this one, I have no idea what it's called. So if you guys know, let me know in the uh, comments below. I actually can probably pull this stick out of here. There we go. And then it looks as though it peels apart into multiple different pieces. Oh. oh, look at that. Little tiny grooves fit right into here. And then it pushes back together. And we can slide the stick back in. Very cool, very interesting. And it still looks good, even though I have no idea what it is. Now let's go ahead and look at the Chinese food erasers. Go ahead and peel this off the back. So right off the bat, I really, really like this. Primarily because there's just so much eraser based on, like, the other ones that we've seen. Most of them are relatively smaller, but this is just, like, so substantial for, like, gripping and whatnot. So right inside of here we have some kind of, um, what looks to be a dough kind of, uh, pastry looking dumpling almost. 
I'm sure that these come apart somehow too, but I'm not gonna attempt that because they're very small. And it comes in some kind of basket looking thing actually. Very interesting. And then these right here, I know what these are. These are bao. And these are like dumplings filled with different types of meats or vegetables. And let's see if we can get these actually out of here. It's kind of hard to pull based on their size. Come on. There we go. If we zoom in right here, you can see they actually put the detail on the lettuce, which I'm always really impressed with. And it actually pulls out just like that. And you can pop that back in. And then this is what the actual bow look like. Really making me hungry. I'm a really big fan of bow, actually. I'll go ahead and slide that in. And then the last thing right here, I'm going to go here, is what looks to be a thing of dumplings. So I'm assuming this entire pack right here is full of dumplings. And it looks as though the, yep, the top right here actually comes off. It's pretty cool. And we can just slide this back on. And then it also comes on the actual plate as well. Very interesting, very neat. Let's go ahead and collect all of these down here. And zoom in real quick. And then place them accordingly. So these were all of the erasers that we unpacked today. I want to pick some more of these up this week. What do you guys think? I know you guys really like these Japanese puzzle erasers, and I very much like seeing the different ones that I'm able to find. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.